Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Welcome back. There are close to 20 million military veterans living in the U.S. right now, and tomorrow we'll celebrate their service to our country. This evening, Galen Culver has the story of an Oklahoma family whose service record truly defines above and beyond. Okay. <laughs> there is always laughter anytime this huge extended family gathers. I took this picture of him. I said, make me a bunch of them like that. Some controversy on who goes where in this huge family tree and of service, says Corky Pula, notably military service. I thought I owed this country something. The man they called Kiowa George Pula was part of the first all Indian cavalry troop in the late 1800s. His sons served their country as well. Ralph Pula with his own sons in World War II. Cletus Pula remains the most decorated Native American soldier in U.S. history. 42 medals and citations through three wars. Four silver stars, five bronze stars, three purple hearts. He volunteered for combat to protect one of his own sons in Vietnam and was killed in action there in November of 1967. When they say Cletus is coming home, I'll be smiling because yeah. I know he would give me something. You know, he always did. And that's just how he was. The phone listings of Southwest Oklahoma are still filled with the Pula family name. Ralph is a half brother to Cletus and a former Marine himself. Phyllis Pula Bohannon is a niece. Her father, Jack, fought in the Pacific. My brother was in the Marines. My other brother served in the Air Force. And I have a nephew who served in the Marines. Because this is our nation, our, our, this was our land. Corky Pula was a Marine too, 27 years, wounded twice in Vietnam. His dad, Horace, served in the Army Air Corps. People say, oh, thank you for your service, but I enjoyed it, every bit of it. The warrior tradition carried down through generations, Cletus' sons in Vietnam, his grandsons, Donald and Roderick, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Along Anadarko's National Hall of Fame, Cletus' bust stands with other notable names. In this light, a thank you for your service might seem insufficient to a family that has always given so much, but it is enough. To see our warriors being honored, it just, it brings such pride to me. In Anadarko, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Man, how about that family? Both Cletus and Corky Pulaw are members of the Oklahoma Military Hall of Fame. There's a Pulaw Hall at Fort Sill, and Cletus's military decorations are on permanent display at the museum there.